Hi everyone! <laughs> Welcome! Hi Janine and Pamela and Abby and Amy and Emily and Kat and Dee and uh... <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, I gotta... Um, Ashley, Dorothy, Robin, Sherry, Karen, hello peoples! How are you? <laughs> Hello Loretta! Welcome! Thank you Abby. Everybody's uh, on time today. <laughs> Hello Shadow. You good? Oh, I just have this unbelievable thirst right now. Do you guys have that sometimes? You're just like, oh, I really need a drink. I'm just going to grab a drink guys. I'm still here, but I'm just going to grab a drink. Okay, back. Got my drink. <laughs> it was a party, Loretta. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> we had a party, but don't fear. If you didn't win last week, I'm going to give away three chances to win today. <laughs> Cat, thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. You like it that way, Abby? Um, and this week, uh, next week, so three chances today. So if you didn't win last week, you got three chances. And, um, and, and next week we're going to have another party. And it'll be all in. Again. <laughs> Laura's just like, yeah, sure, you can do another another party. I'm like, can I do whatever I want? She's like, yeah, yes, party. <laughs> you love her hair. Oh. Now, yesterday I had my appointment uh, at the specialist after my Patreon live yesterday. Um, I'm now officially on a waiting list to have a skin graft on my eardrum. Uh, to fix the ever-growing hole. Uh, the hole that was there last time I saw him was extremely larger than then, so the ear infections have caused the hole to grow bigger. The hole Does a hole grow bigger? It doesn't really grow. You lose stuff when you have a hole. <laughs> anyway, um, so they have to do a skin graft, so yucky yuckies. Um, but I'm on a waiting list, so it could be a year, a year before I hear anything. So bummer about that. But that's just how it is here. Um, if it's not an emergency as such, then uh, you go on a waiting list and it's called elective surgery, apparently, because I elected to have it. Not. Anyway, um, <laughs> it's, it's a wait. So I don't know how long it will be. I'm hoping that... It won't be long, but I'm not expecting it to be anytime soon or in the near future. Yeah, exactly, Loretta. Sooner rather than later. Hello, Helen. Welcome. Big thank you, Kat, for Super Chat. That is amazing. <laughs> it's not pleasant. They'll, um, here's my ear. They'll cut behind my ear here, peel that back. And uh, they take a bit of skin from there and they fix the eardrum, they close it up, put stitches on, and then they pack the ear with packing. Gross. Yeah. And then I will come home with packing or bandages in my ear and also a bandage around my head. And they'll also have to shave my hair. Uh, so that's not nice. I have no hair there. No. Expanded. Very good, Emily. That's a good word. Expanded. Um, so, <laughs> gross, 
And uh, yeah, uh, hopefully I don't have to wait forever. But look, you know what? Uh, if I didn't wait three years ago, I would have already had it done. So I'm kind of bummed that I did say let's wait. Uh, because it was actually okay at that time. Um, but yeah, the last three months have been absolute hell. And if I had have known, you know, the hindsight thing, I would have had it done three years ago. Uh, and been fine. It'll grow back. Fancy headscarf sounds good, Emily. It really does. <laughs> um, hi, Angela. Welcome. And welcome anyone that's popped in that I missed uh, while I was gone having, getting a drink and stuff like that. It is, um, and uh, unfortunately, if I was to just, if I was to get private health insurance now, uh, it wouldn't cover the operation anyway. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's a bummer. But, um, look, I guess the good news is that I had my left ear done when I was about 17. And um, I haven't had a lot of issues in that ear. It's been okay. I've had a couple of ear infections, but nothing huge. So um, that's a good thing. It means that once it's done, uh, things will be a lot better. My hearing may come back too, which is awesome because it will uh, stabilize the drum more and uh, give me that vibration back. So that's kind of cool too. It'd be nice to be able to hear again. There's also a risk of not being able to hear at all. So uh, that's, that's just how it is. Uh, in the meantime, Emily, antibiotics every time I get an earache, basically. <laughs> uh, and they, and some antibiotic drops, and um, yeah, it's yuck, but it's all I can do. So that's it. That's what I do. So uh, now I just need to take care of myself, not get too run down, because it seems like when I get run down, the ear becomes weaker, and I get the more stressed I am and things like that, the worse it is too. So just taking my time with things and um, learning to cope with it now and uh, learning to uh, note when my body needs to rest because I don't do that very well <laughs> but you know what I'm not the only one uh, it's just one of those things that we do in our lives it is it is it is it is <laughs> All right, so we don't have many people here. Where is everybody? Come on. <clears throat> we'll hope we have more next week. All right, what was I using for hair? Let, let's get that out first. So we had kaput, kaput, mortuum, mortem, violet. I'm going to call it mortem, violet. <laughs> I've got Indian red somewhere. Now I've got the hiccups because I drank water quickly. Indian red and we've got kaput mortem with nothing. It's just kaput mortem. <laughs> we've got burnt carmine. Mm -hmm. And we're going to use white today. And we may use a colourless blender as well. May use wherever it is. Where is it? Ah, here it is. I'm going to sharpen it now, because it's gaunt. the other ones? Oh, there they are. Well, there's one of them. I ordered a couple more. Huh. Anyhow, here's one. We're good. All right. Make sure your pencils are nice and sharp. We did put Mortuum, Mortuum Violet base layer. Uh, last week uh, so we're going to move on to Indian red next so I just want to make sure my pencil's nice and sharp hi Mona welcome hi Patty welcome hi Leslie welcome here comes everybody now I know Emily and I hope that you are getting better even though you're finding it a struggle there <laughs> Oh, you got to say no, that's right. Dr. Cat says sleep and colour and maybe a miniature thro thrown in for some fun. Oh, 
I'm waiting for material, man. So I can make some pretties. Um, with my crappy sewing machine I got. Oh, okay. I can't believe I didn't even think. I thought that those two little things would be included. And that was the automatic, the threader, the needle threader. Which makes it a lot easier for seeing. And um, <laughs> also the cutter. The thread cutter on the side. Like I just thought that was just something that all sewing machines had. No. Apparently not. Anyhow, <laughs> I'm over it. It's done. I got scissors next to my my um, sewing machine, and and uh, I just have to, I don't know, get new eyes. <laughs> get new eyes. Now I just noticed here. I just want to add a little bit of a shadow with the kaput Mort kaput mortem violet. Kaput kaput. Uh, just a little bit more of a shadow behind this rose here. Just nice gentle shading. There we go. I think that's good. Maybe a little bit more here. Just a nice layer of colour there just to produce a bit more of a shadow on that uh, edge kaput sounds jewish i don't even know kaput i don't know are they german it has to have something it has to have some german meaning i would say <laughs> i would say karen i'm using let me get it Shadow's right there. Ugh. Hi, Shadow. Say hello. Say hello. Meow. Okay, fine. I'll say it for you. Spilt my tea on it. Uh, I've got the mixed media paper. Oh, stop it. Moving. Sorry, vellum surface. <laughs> this is a 9 by 12 You can get it in bigger A3 sheets. You can get it smaller in half size ones. Uh, but this is sort of closer to uh, standard A4 here. So I guess that's why I got this one. There's actually 40 sheets in this book, which is uh, quite good. It comes spiral bound. I just pull it apart and trim it for my printer. Printer. Like trim the... It's got a perforated edge, but I just crop it off. Dead in Latin. Kaput mortem. Wow. Hi, Maribel. Welcome. <laughs> oh, vertigo. Ugh. Let me just fix this back up again. Stay still. Okay, I'm really quite impressed with how she's looking. She's looking pretty, pretty nice. Yeah, here we go. Got more people coming in now. Lovely. Let's go back to Indian Red. Now the Indian Red. I did two versions of hair, and uh, I'm kind of a little bit torn of which one to stick with, but. Alright, let's, let's do Indian Red. Uh, we'll start at the front, yeah? And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in so you can see. Man. Oh, I just wanted to mention, if was anyone uh, at Monya's thing yesterday? Did you know that she opened, Monya Gates opened a Patreon page? Yeah, baby. I joined that today. Um, some freebies there. Alright, so I'm going to move the camera slightly. So I'm on a bit of an angle for you. <laughs> Janine's like, joined! <laughs> Hi, Daryl Lynn! Welcome! <laughs> 
Welcome back, Sherry. Oh, well, I thought there would be already a free page. I was like, yes, I'm going to go check it out. No free page yet. Ah, oh, rats. <laughs> I just thought it was funny because uh, patrons yesterday, we we started a Monia, a Monia image. Oh, my gosh, she looks amazing, by the way. Um, okay, so we want to flick Trish. Oh, thank you. Never mind. That happens. <laughs> oh, thank you. Angela, hello. You get lost. Oh, um, <laughs> Angela, I um, I actually had a video on speed so I could just watch it come together. Um, I'm doing a little bit of research on dark skin and I just wanted to, I didn't particularly want to know colours or anything, but I wanted to see how, how she built upon all of those colours and how it came out. So I had it on fast forward, but you are right, she does colour very quickly. Um, I think I do too, but with pencil, I'm a little slower, um, a little slower, that is. Hello. Hi. Oh no. <laughs> Shadow's like, don't take me away. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Tea time. Ow. Early. Early. It's alright, I just had to have a drink. I was so thirsty. It's weird. <laughs> oh, no worries, Patty. Good job. Good job. Hello. <laughs> Cam says hi. <laughs> hi, Cam. <laughs> Shh. Shadow. <laughs> Oh, Amy, I know. <laughs> Look, and this one's in my coffee cat. It's got cat on. Well, it's hard to see. But there's a cat on one side. There's a cat here. And uh, there's fish on the other side. I had no idea where it came from, but. Oh, that's nice and hot. Oh, you did too. <laughs> no problems. All right, so I'm just coming over the previous color. Sometimes I'm doing the color directly over the previous stroke or I'm doing it in between. But I'm making them slightly longer than the previous color. So just slightly longer, bringing them further towards this light area that we have in the middle. Really? I can hear you, Shadow. Oh girls who were talking about material yesterday I I got onto Etsy and I ordered some fat quarters or whatever they are <laughs> um, but I spent a hundred dollars a hundred and some fifty dollars or something to get just some nice colors some neutral colors and some bright colors with small patterns on them um, so it's quite expensive for material and you know what I think they've increased the prices of some of them because people are using them to make masks so they can make more money out of it now <laughs> so they charge more oh, hi Kim hi Kathy welcome of course that's why we do it Patty it's very pretty. 
I really liked our blonde hair that we did yesterday on Patreon too. Actually, where is my picture? I don't know where I put it. <laughs> so on my Patreon, speaking of Patreon, we worked on this beautiful lady. Um, obviously she's not finished. Oh, with markers. So we used some Copics yesterday. Oh, ha, ha. Um, and I love the way the blonde came out. Um, so yeah, beautiful. If you have warm, we don't have Walmart, Abby. unfortunately we do have uh, a haberdashery saw spotlight which do material curtains linen craft kitchenware a whole heap of stuff but when i went on there everything sold out everything is sold out because obviously people are home six weeks of boredom everyone's gone out and brought stuff um so yeah They were on sale yesterday, Amy. Oh, Sherry, I don't mind. I don't really do it to make the money. So, um, I just figure that $5 is pretty reasonable for everything, including, you know, some of the stationary stuff and yeah you know the flip charts and the practice sheets and all of that stuff like it's worth it I guess I don't want to charge something that I wouldn't be willing to pay for myself there is one that I've been having trouble with uh, Nell's Patreon hers is the only one that comes out in Euro I think it is and my for some stupid reason reason <laughs> PayPal won't accept it it's just weird um, I was hoping that she'd put up Amer American prices like US dollars because that um, works it works on all the other ones that I'm with so yeah very strange <gasps> I opened a new miniature Oh, I know. Some of the material I got for this, the container house was like that. It was like a brown, just plain brown. Um, but I found this trick uh, where you can actually print on material and I'm going to give it a go. How strange does that sound? Um... I found it, uh, I was looking up how people sew little miniature cushions actually and uh, I found this woman who, I'm actually in a group now, um, she does like templates for printing on material, so like floral, you know, like different things like that she's got a cushion template and and what you do is uh, quite easy to do so I was pretty excited about that so I ordered some stuff to be able to do that too and then I can actually print my own patterns on my materials oh you can use I have used um, Ashley I've used ink tents on calico material and it does work um, and it's permanent so that's cool Oh, cute cat. Oh, thanks, Sherry. I'm glad. Sounds cute. I ordered a Christmas one. <gasps> Helen's fault. Helen uh, showed me a picture of a Christmas one a little while ago and I've, I've had it sitting in my 
Amazon cart for quite some time and uh, I finally decided that uh, it was time to get it. Oh, also, if Ken Kenny's not around, but uh, Kenny and I were having trouble finding me a set of the uh, Inktense Travel Pans, the second set. I also found them, so I've got a set of that coming too, which is awesome. So, the enabler strikes again. Yes. <laughs> Amazon.com.au I've got stuff in my cart <laughs> that just sits there until I decide if I'm going to get it or not. Okay, it says it's going to arrive next week. Here we go. Well, hang on. Wait, no, go back. Ugh. Looks like it was the last one. Why won't you open the pictures? It's having a moment. Anyway, it's blurry. How cute is this? Ah, oh, why is it blurry? Never mind. It's like it's having trouble loading the photos. I don't know. Anyway, it's very cute. Um, I'm looking forward to getting that and doing my own thing with that too. You know. But um, I have a couple of really cute Christmassy things that I made um, throughout the year. So, and they go out every year. Um, and I have this really cute little advent calendar type thing. Um, but it's like a wooden Christmas tree where you put the wooden little characters on. It's very cute. Miniature. And I figured this would go very nicely with that stuff. Very nicely. Oh, they do, Robin? Well, I've already got the first set, um... I can't remember who sent it. I think it was Kenny. I think Kenny sent it to me originally. Um, and the second set we've been looking for to get here to Australia, and it's been hard. Uh, she ordered it for me twice, but uh, it never arrived. So she cancelled the orders. And um, But yeah, I just spotted it. I don't know why it popped up on my thing. And I went, oh, oh. <laughs> Get excited. I'll have that. Thank you. It was on Amazon US too, so I was surprised that it would actually post here. It's looking pretty cool already. Look at this. Just flicking. Gradually building up these layers to make it look textured and give it character. Very nice. Oh, cat, I've got six of those little tin ones to do still, and I've got three of those glass globe ones to do. Uh, I've also got a coffee shop sitting there. Uh, one of the Robo Time ones. Um... I've got one coming from China that's been coming from China for three months, <laughs> which uh, I think is a double story house. I'm not sure. Uh, 
Um, it's been so long since I ordered it. Actually, they tricked me into ordering it. I, I had it I had it on my watch list on eBay and uh, I didn't realize that it was supposed to be coming from China and then they sent me this thing saying oh we want to offer you 20% off and I was like oh that's cool that's a good price now so I ordered it and then after I ordered it I went and checked and went oh it's coming from China <laughs> that was tricky usually if I order off of eBay I'll make sure it's from Australia otherwise it's just crazy times crazy wait times it has always been like that though even before the virus so that's not changed <laughs> oh that's a good idea <laughs> Trish <laughs> little enabling from a friend oh nanny wait what miniature what miniatures Amy haven't you seen them would you like me to show you Amy we've got time <laughs> these are the tiny tiny little ones these are tiny like like seriously tiny like these little flowers here are like a poppy seed size These are my little tin ones. I've got uh, four of these done so far. Summer, autumn, winter and spring. And I've got six more to do. Uh, one of them's like Paris and like all outing places like that. How cute are these So, <laughs> And then I'm making my own. I'm modifying a kit. This is my art room that I made. Um, which is very cute. It's got a little laptop here on the table back here. It's got like all sorts of cute little things in it. So I modify. I'm mod modifying uh, a kit that I brought, um, which I already did. I did finish the container house so properly, like it followed the instructions. And then I um, decided that this one would be my own house. So this is my art room study. <laughs> oh, and the window opens and closes, which is really cool too. And the lights work, but obviously it's not plugged in yet because I haven't uh, put it all together. But that's the start of it. So there's some of the ones I've done. And last week I showed this little miniature couch. A little miniature couch. <laughs> and also I made a bean bag for my little kitty and some cushions. For my other living area. Get this out. Cushions. Kitty. <laughs> throw down area in my other living area, which is going to have a fireplace in it as well. How cute is this little bing bag? <laughs> Yes. Oh, I'm loving it. Loving them, Amy. So much fun. Hi, Green. Welcome. Oh, 
I've been trying to stay away from the political news stuff. Let's turn it upside down. Hey, we're doing three giveaways today. Let's do one. All right, who didn't win a prize last week? I think half of the chat got a prize in the end, but there's still quite a few that didn't, so. Hi, Kelly. Thanks, Patty. What are we talking about, Abby? What's close for comfort? All right, for those that haven't joined um, or haven't won and would like to win their choice of digital image uh, from Laura's Etsy store, it is a single digital image. doesn't include the packs or books or anything. If you would like to join or enter the giveaway and you only need to enter once so I'm going to do three drawings so it will count this this word will count towards that um, so you don't need to do it more than once you just need to be in chat to get your notification and the you have to write in the chat the secret word which is, remember, yeah, Tara Lynn, not this week, but next week. <laughs> Loretta, the code word is lucky. Lucky. Okay, those that haven't won can enter. You only need to enter once. <laughs> Loretta, are you lucky today? <laughs> Good. There's going to be three chances. Okay, so I'm going to draw one now and I'm going to draw another one in a little while. And maybe one near the end. I can't believe it's always almost it's like we've been I've been here half an hour I actually this hair has been quicker than I thought it would be what do you think of the color now you still like it just as much as before no that's hair too yeah it's hair it's like the curly bunch of hair coming back under. Well, that's what I'm making it anyway. <laughs> okay, are you still here, Loretta? Because I am going to draw it. I've got 10 people so far that have popped their names down. Ah, uh, yep. <laughs> I'm kind of trying to make it like kind of like Auburn. No, no, not Auburn. What's it called? 
Oh, I guess it is open, isn't it? Pinky red colour. <laughs> Alright, here it goes. Here we go. Rolling it. D. Richie. <laughs> First one. So don't forget there will be three. I'll do one close to the end and uh, I'll do another between now and the end. like maybe 40 minutes I set my timer okay <laughs> I will set my time I think it's contact um, yay <laughs> I think it's eye contact for some stupid reason I don't know why I didn't just write I email so that would have been exclamation point email would have been better <laughs> If you could please email me and um, <laughs> and uh, with your choice of picture, and then I can send those details off to Laura. That would have been smart. Apps like I don't know. I'm just not with it. All right, let's move on. Wait, before we move on, no worries, Karen. Thank you so much for joining us. I've got Kaput Mortem next. Oh, you still got a chance. Now, everybody who just entered will still have another chance. So uh, you'll get another chance to, uh, to win it again. Okay? Okay, so don't go away. <laughs> Don't go, baby, come back. No, just joking. All right, I need to go to the loo. I need a break already because I've drunk tea and water now. I'm remembering also that it's early in the morning here. <laughs> Be right back. back yes it's uh 10 44 a.m here in australia on a friday morning <laughs> speaking of australia um i got a electricity bill this morning and those of you in australia how has your electricity bill or gas bill been uh, i have five people living in my house so uh with everybody being home we have laptops, computers, TVs, the heater, uh, lights, <laughs> you name it, on all the time. <laughs> and <laughs> it was quite high. I uh, nearly fell over when I opened the bill. How about you guys? <laughs> Quarantine uh, more expensive than you think. 
I'm going to do a few flicks of this coming up through the middle a little bit more. Not too much. Oh, Pam. Pamela, mine, I, Cam, I said to Cam yesterday, driving home from the doctors, I'm like, you know what, I haven't seen an electricity bill for a little while. And he said, oh, the guy came and read the meter last week. And I was like, oh, oh. here it comes. <laughs> uh, mine, I have a discount thing. I'm on a special plan thing. So I, I got about $100 off it, but it was $900. That's Australian dollars. <laughs> It was crazy. But, I mean, it makes sense. You know, we're home. Not much we can do. No, oh, Janine. <laughs> Hi, Ray. Welcome. Um, yeah, I thought so. That's that's uh three months, a quarter. Oh, I think it might be, like, now would be a perfect time. Like, I, I wish I had, there's a few times I've, I've said to Hubby, we should get solar. Yeah, yeah, you don't get much back out of it. But now, I'm like, well, that much that we do get out of it would be enough, you know? <laughs> you know, it's just enough to give us something back. Especially because we do use a lot. But when everyone was at school and uni and, and it was just me here at home, bills are quite normal price, you know, you're looking at maybe $500, like it's doubled, doubled. I'm not looking forward to the gas because it's been such a cold winter. We've had our gas heater on a lot. Thanks, Mona. Kathy, are you in the United States though? Because that three hundred dollars would be around six hundred dollars for us. So, It is a lot of money. I mean, I have three lights on now, a fluoro light, which if I kept it on all day, wouldn't really do much for the power, but I've got two other globe lights here and um, they'll probably stay on for maybe three hours today one of them may stay on longer because I use it for doing miniatures and other stuff when I'm working uh, because it's quite dark here on this side of my house um, and natural light just doesn't cut it but um, the TV I don't think I don't think you know the TV might be on but no one's watching it you know like just little things like that is what starts to chew things up. The lights are on, but no one's in the room. You know? We definitely need to start uh, thinking about it a little bit more, I think. I'll just show my girls the electricity bill and they'll be like, what? A <laughs> little bit of a guilt trip there, guys. 
but it, it does it will stop help stop unnecessary power consumption i think i mean you know also because it's winter we're using the clothes dryer a little bit more um you know on smaller garments underwear and things like that it all goes in the dryer um, the larger stuff goes on clothes horses but still um I guess the hot water service is gas, so we probably that will only contribute to the gas. Having more showers and <laughs> it's just bored. They're bored, so they gotta do stuff. Spend two hours in the bathroom because <laughs> they can, you know. <laughs> That's not limited just to kids either. Oh no, Abby. Close to you? Yeah. Hi, Carolee. Welcome. It did LEDs. Yeah, we were talking about doing it a little while ago because we've got a lot of down lights. Um, so yeah, we were talking about doing that actually. Oh, you're lucky, Sherry. <laughs> Thanks, Patty. Thank ya. Gotta leave some white gaps so that uh, we've got highlights coming through. Leave their gaps. Hiccup, 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 hiccups. Did I miss any? It's easy to miss stuff here when we're coming in so close to finishing it up. Mm. Dorothy, I am using Polychromos. And if you have a look down here in the description, there's a link to the colour list and conversion if you don't have them. Oh, yes, no, uh, yes, I was using just Caput Mortem then. Sorry, my bad. I'm moving on now, though, to... Nope, use those two. If we use that one. <laughs> Where is it? There it is. To Burnt Carmine, which has got a little bit more pink in it. Okay. <laughs> of course they do. They need to be able to see. It's scary. It's scary. <laughs> Don't 
did you know? <laughs> Alright. Don't cut mine. And uh, what we're going to do is now we're just going to bring some of this colour in to the middle. Just very carefully flicking in. <laughs> uh, where's my zoom? Let's have a look at what I'm actually doing here. Oh, something fell out. It's really windy outside today. And uh, also, when I woke up at 6 this morning, there was pink sky peeking through. So I think we're in for a storm as well. Speaking of storms, the wind is horrible right now. So some lines you can actually see me physically putting in and other lines is coming over the top of other colours. So... You can't actually see that colour filling in at all, but I'm putting it there still. I'm going to move around and uh, you can see the colour difference by adding that pink kind of colour on there, just lightening it up a little bit. Bit of a difference between that and that. <laughs> That's okay, Dorothy. <laughs> Trish, you're right. <laughs> I saw that, Tara Lynn, and I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Hi, Alison. I am not looking, Tara Lynn. I'm not going. I have so many diamond painting kits. It is not funny. Like, honest to truth, like, just... <laughs> my cupboard is filling out with them, and I haven't done them. I've been working on... Um, I've been working on the Cheshire Cat. Um, let, let me just let me just see if I can find a picture I think I took a photo of it on my my iPad when I was playing with my new iPad uh, let's have a look albums maybe here we go. Oh, well, that's... <laughs> I've actually done more than this now, but look, this is my... I've actually finished this section here now, so that's actually all finished. Uh, and I've got, like, a little section down here that I've started. Um, but, oh my goodness! <laughs> I know, I've got it. It's coming, Emily. <laughs> it's coming! <laughs> Um, I also just got, I just got another one actually in the mail. This little guy, he came this week. How cute is he? I have David Tennant coming. The Tenth Doctor. And, um, I have couple of other things coming. Uh, that is her. That is, that is, uh, that is the one that I started. <laughs> that'd be, 
so what's that one? Into Wonderland. <laughs> I'm still... Uh, and you know what happens? This is a reason. There is a reason. I sit down in my chair. I put the TV on. I get my series ready. I get my chair with all my bits on it. And I plug in my light. And I sit down and put my blanket over my legs. Five minutes later, Nani's on me. On me. I can't do it. Well, you're on me. <laughs> and she won't leave. She hides under the blanket on my lap. So she won't, I can't put anything over the top of her. So I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> I just go, ah, stuff this. I just put it, put it aside. Um, and I never do, I don't do it. I don't end up doing it. It's, it's annoying because I could be doing it. Like I'll, I'll sit and play on my iPad or something instead. Cause I can hold that over the top of her. But, um, the diamond painting, it's a little bit harder. It is. It's harder. It's much harder. Hi Dawn. Welcome. How are you? Are you healing well? Look at it. It's looking so good. Maybe a little bit more here. These ones are much finer strokes, I think. Uh, I have heaps coming. I, I've, I've got... Uh, let me have a look at my shop app. Because, you know, do you guys have that shop? Um, it tracks all your packages. I have Dragon Attack, Frozen, and Sweet Purple coming. I have about four coming from Treasure, uh, Treasure, tre <laughs> I can't even say it, from Treasure Studio Art, one, two, three, four, and I have Sugar Plum Princess and and the Tenth Doctor coming from Diamond Art Club. So I have heaps coming still. No, I started with the darkest colour. Kaput Mortuum Mortem Violet was the darkest colour. Plus the puppy, I know, cute. You got hair stuck to it? What? Technically, the lightest color I'm using is white. Um, it's not really a color though, is it? But yeah, white will be my last color. And um, I guess this carmine red is the lightest color. Just uh, softening these lines off now. It's a nice thin strokes through there and then when we add the white we're going to be sort of solidifying those highlights a little bit and uh, bringing them forward well that's the hope anyway
I'm still trying to flick from both angles so I'm getting I don't know texture I'm going to try and keep that whole section lighter there that bit there is lighter uh, this bit here is a little bit lighter giving us a little bit of a highlight in each part of the hair magic yeah look it doesn't really matter I just find it easier to do it that way um, but yeah so anyone new popped in that didn't win a prize last week because I'm getting ready very close to in the next 10 minutes drawing another winner so if you did not win and you would like to win a digital image of your choice from Laura's Etsy store those that have already entered the secret word are already in so you don't need to do it again but those that are new that have come in since and want to enter um, the code word is lucky lucky so write it in and you'll automatically go into the draw when I draw it <laughs> Lucky, says Alison. <laughs> I like it, Cat, because it gives me room to make it darker if I need to. So if when I go in then with the lighter colours and it looks too light, I can come back in and darken it up again with a couple of layers. I find light, light, like working with light to dark works well with watercolour because watercolour is hard to, you know, once you put it down it's there. But I tend to work dark to light in everything. I guess adding white down before we did the skin is probably an exception to that. Oh, it's looking beautiful. Kelly, I'm using this paper. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Anyone else need to enter? Uh, Dawn or... I don't know, I've still only got 10 people here that are in, so only one extra has joined, because uh, Dee's already won one now. That's Strathmore, by the way, yeah, because they're that cool. Alison. <laughs> <laughs> It's just hard to lighten watercolour. Like once... once <laughs> I mean, you can. You can wet it and just dab it off, I guess. But I think I usually start with my lighter lighter, lighter tones first. And then work or build upon that. I don't know.
I think I, I think when I start with the lighter tones, I think I end up using more of the tooth. I don't know why, um, but I'm afraid that if I start with lighter, that I'm not going to get it dark enough where I need it to be dark. I guess maybe, maybe that's why I do it. I don't know. <laughs> maybe there's no reason at all. But it does also. I don't know if it sticks in my head or not, but you know. <laughs> oh. I haven't tried just coloured pencil paper, but uh, I'm not sure. But I have tried the the other um, drawing paper. Is that what you mean? I have tried that in the tan tone and the grey tone paper, the drawing paper with vellum surface. It's a little bit thinner than this. Um, I have tried that. Yeah, the higher. That's right. Um, well, this one's only... This is 300 series, so it's not as... I do have... There is another version of this, which is thicker again uh, but I actually really like this I think it's good it's in the middle and it's not as expensive as the others and I get more out of it because there's more in the pad so yeah oh no I don't have that one Toned grey sketch paper. That's a 400 series. Okay, white. Angela, no! Have you entered? You didn't enter? Have you already won? Did you already win? Oh, I hope you already won something. Have a good night, sweetie. Feel better. Okay, just checking that everybody who would like to enter has entered. My tea went cold because I didn't put it back on my tea warmer, Robin. <laughs> you good? Good, good, good. I'm glad. Come back next week. You've got a chance of winning again. Oh my gosh. I got your email, D. Yes, thank you. Very good. <laughs> it's not heavy though, that one. It depends which one you're talking about. I have 
have a not the mixed media this is really light this one I have this one toned grey sketch paper medium surface um, and it's it's really thin like it's not like this is thick thin um, so I've also got this in the tone tan toned as well same medium surface sketch paper 50 sheets um, I don't mind it I've used it a couple of times now a couple of times hi Bev yeah that's light it's uh, only 118 GSM the one I'm using now is 190 GSM so this is 80 pound and this one's 117 pound so it's thicker hi Bev hi Bev hi Bev did you win last week a prize because if you didn't those coming in hi Diane um, if you haven't won and you would like to make sure you write the lucky the lucky the secret word lucky <laughs> in the chat to win your choice of image from uh, Laura's Etsy store <laughs> Allison, it does it does struggle a little with the thicker tan toned uh, mixed media um, which I think is 300 GSM it does sometimes spit it back out again <laughs> and say you didn't put any paper in I'm like what I did um, so sometimes it does that but most of the times it's fine most of the times it's fine <laughs> thanks Bev and on <laughs> lucky my alarm's gonna go off in a minute so and then we'll do it right at the end okay so I've got white this is the uh, polychromos white the hard white because I don't want to rub the color in together like mix it I want to try and get some nice thin white highlights through here So in the highlight section, I'm just coming in and flicking some white flicks through there. Ah, well this paper it would, I think. Um, Sherry, I think this would, because it's only 80 pound. <laughs> not sarcastic March <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh gosh right that's it that's it time time for a giveaway just just bad just bad okay you ready Nightbot says it before me, but you know. Here we go. Dorothy! <laughs> Congratulations! Woo! Yeah! Crowd goes wild. Oh, you did? Yay! I called it first. Woohoo! 
<laughs> listen. Oh, I'm sorry. No, oh, I can't feel bad. I can. But if I felt bad, I don't think I'd be able to cope with anything that I did. I have to, I have to smile about it. <laughs> oh, you didn't? Oh. <laughs> Why did it pick you then? Naughty. <laughs> That's just naughty. <laughs> all right, all right. We already did it, but we're going to have to draw it again anyway. Oh, goodness me. We're going to have to redraw it because Dorothy already won. I've got Allison, Amy, Bev, Kat, Dawn, Diane, Kelly, Leslie, Loretta, Mona, Patty, Robin, and Ray. Is that it? Is that all I should have? Why did it draw Dorothy's name? <laughs> Is anyone on that list that doesn't want to be on that list? And there, is there anyone not on the list that wants to be on the list? You wrote, okay, no worries. I'll take you off, Diane. That's fine. <laughs> okay, that's weird. <laughs> anyone else? <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's try again. Robin! Woohoo! <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> All right, I need to write down who's won because I'm going to forget. You know that, right? Let me, let me just write it down. So we had... Uh, hang on, wait. Who won first? <gasps> no, I've forgotten already. D. D won first. And then Robin. Okay, cool. Congratulations, my dear. I took you off, um, Kat. I took it off. <laughs> yeah, just tell me if you want it off, because um, I will. But one more, uh, which we'll do at the end. And, um, and then next week, everyone can begin again. <laughs> Okay, so everyone can have a chance again next week. Oh, it's looking a lot lighter, isn't it? That's all right. We'll come back in and we'll darken some areas up again. I don't want to blend it in too much. Um, so just trying to keep it, you know, <laughs> not scribbling all over, but just trying to keep it in lines. Let's go back in with the uh, darkest colour, Kaput Mortuum Mortem Violet. Ah, oh, congratulations! Mm. 
we did that sherry for this one we started with white go back and watch the first video <laughs> all right I'm just going to use this to darken some of these darker areas again just flicking out just shading in the shaded areas there just flicking out just adding a little bit more depth into a couple of areas it's really up to you like if you like it lighter then that's fine you can leave it lighter I do think adding a little bit more contrast in here in these shadows does help though just bring it to life so give it a try if it's not normally what you would do give it a try you might be surprised. You might like the results better. Yeah, Sherry, it does. It's amazing. I used a Prismacolor pencil underneath, a nice soft white pencil. You could use Luminance or soft white Holborn or Prismacolor any soft waxy white pencil I you know what um, Black Widow might even work with it Laura um, was extremely happy with uh, last week's stream. She uh, really enjoyed everyone having a good laugh and having some fun. Just a few areas where I'm just giving a little bit more depth again. thank you so much for coming um, I will see you next time <laughs> oh Amy no <laughs> oh good Tara Lynn I should appreciate that the time half an hour we might even get started on our rows today we might <laughs> we'll just see how we go too much talking guys oh, a bit of fun a bit of bit of banter
It's so funny, um, Amy. I I saw a miniature kit probably about a year ago. On it popped up on my um, Instagram feed, and I was like, oh, I'd love to do something like this. This is amazing. And I went and checked out the site at the time. And uh, it was from the UK, I think, or something like that. And it put me off because I was like, oh, my gosh, that's so expensive. It was like $100 for this little miniature thing. Meh. <laughs> and then, um, you know what? I think it might have been when I started buying off AliExpress. It popped up there. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. And that's when I actually started looking into it a little bit more. I found a place here in Victoria that sells them and uh, the price was actually quite good so that's where it started and now I'm addicted. Addicted! Just like colouring and diamond painting, sewing, eating, <laughs> oh look I got one off Amazon um, but because it's all international imports so they're all from like Amazon US uh, that's quite expensive for me um, I found a couple on eBay AliExpress I've ordered I ordered heaps of those little tin ones these ones I ordered 10 of these from China all at once a nice big box it took uh, eight weeks which was actually pretty good to get all of them um, they're so cute <laughs> it's very cute so yeah but I there's a store here that sells them in Australia I've been getting mine from and I go on there to check if he's got anything new often Um, I also got a couple in Australia here. We've got Spotlight. They had some Robo Time ones. I got Kathy's Garden and and somebody's Cafe, Simon's Cafe, I think it is. Oh, and the Bookshop. That's probably my favourite. I really want to get Sam's Study. I think it is. Or Sam's. Yeah, I think it's Sam's Study. I really want to get that. Uh, that's a robo time one too, but they're more expensive. I don't know why, they're made at the same place. Alright, how's that? Added a little bit more depth in there. I think I need a couple of strokes just at the top here. But I definitely needed it. I think it just made it that little bit more crisp. Oh, Kelly, uh, Devon's, Devon's Children's Store. I 
think it is. Let me just check. I'm checking now. They're all the same quality. Kelly, I haven't found one that's been different. <laughs> the the um yes the uh instructions are different you might get some that are only chinese and some are english but pretty much all of the product that comes in the kits is exactly the same occasionally uh in some kits you'll get more model stuff like you might get actual cups um, not just beads um, or a watering can or something like that like some kits you get like the cat the little kitty cat that was that I'm going to use for my little cushion thing here <laughs> um, so sometimes you get stuff like that sometimes it's just you have to put like beads with beads together or you know like it just depends but the mini ones, that's tiny. Like these are tiny, tiny little bits, like beads and tiny bits of wood. You have to be so careful not to break the wood uh, because it's so fine. Um, the the little music box, the one that turned, the music box one that, that, I, that turned and spun, I loved the detail in that one. That had the best flowers and things like that some of these I've actually added my own bits to as well like I've added some plants and whatever else because it wasn't included um, so it depends really <laughs> it depends what's five percent off where are you looking now Oh, it's hard. Hi, Tippy. All right, guys. Well, um, I uh, wait. Something's just happening here. Hang on a sec. All right, talk about interruptions today. <laughs> There's been a few. All right, I think I'm happy with her. I think her hair's done to me. Now, um, you can use a colorless blender. Um, I'm going to use the Caran d'Ache full blender. It now comes in a pencil as well. Um, but I'm just going to make sure that there's no like rough paper areas because it just flattening out those areas will just bring the color together a little bit more. Don't rub all over, try and keep it in lines so you can keep that texture. Honestly, with all the talking that we've done today, this this would not have taken very long. Uh, <laughs> if if <laughs> if I was doing it <laughs> normally, but you know, I gotta have chatter. I think I was quite quite quiet on Monday. But you know what? I really enjoyed doing the Anastasia image. Woohoo! I haven't finished it yet, but I can show you what I've done in a minute. So if you were here on Monday, I started an Anastasia Caldeva 
image from her Serenity book that I got um, using, surprisingly enough, Arteezers. And I was actually quite impressed with them. Even the skin! Wanna see? I'm finished. Oh my gosh, it has taken me forever. <sighs> um, I've still got this shell to do, uh, which will be the same colours I used here. And uh, I've got the background, which I'm going to do with probably watercolour. Um, so it's this was done with our teaser. How cool is that? I was really happy with how it came out. Really pretty. Um, so there you go. Really pretty. Okay, so yeah, I've been doing that all week this week. <laughs> and I haven't done anything new we did all of this on like we did the hair on camera we did a fish on camera and we did the um, shell on camera the only thing that I didn't do on camera was the skin um, but uh, yeah I know it's coming out awesome so once we do this shell um, I might put a little bit of purple and pink into it though just to you know and then we'll do some green water aqua green um, but uh, it's taking me ages. I don't think I remember an image taking me so long. I think it's because it's so big. It's such a big image. Large area, I'm meaning a large area. Because I've printed it the same size as the book. So, um, yeah. I should have printed it less, smaller. But no, I didn't. Now, if you have trouble with wax blue, it makes the page look kind of cloudy. Um, and uh, you know you've got it because you'll go like that and you can see it come off. Um, use, when you've finished, wipe it with a soft cloth and use a a sealer so a sealer of some sort that you might use on say pastels um, and it should help get rid of that I find I get more wax bloom though with Christmas colors but sometimes with the colorless blender you can get it too so kind of looks like there's a dusty layer of something over the pencil when it's done and uh, when you wipe it off with a cloth your color comes back nice and bright again
stunning. Hi, Melanie. Ooh, Amy, 30% off. That's cool. Oh, Loretta, that was, um, that was, uh, uh, Anastasia Koldeva. I did that one on Monday's live. <laughs> Monday's live. All right, let's do another giveaway. So for those that haven't done, uh, won anything, I'm just going to run through the names I have. Allison, Amy, Bev, Dawn, Kelly... Leslie, Loretta, Mona, Patty, Ray. Anyone? Oh, anyone new who who didn't win a prize last week from Laura? <laughs> Hi, Nana. You're just in time. <laughs> so it's your choice of image from Laura's Etsy store. Uh, digital image. You will need to give me, send me an email and I need to give that info off to Laura so she can send it to you. You did win. I didn't read you. Yeah, I don't have you. <laughs> if you haven't entered and you're new, um, make sure you write the word lucky. Lucky. <laughs> I've got the Elbrick Jira. <laughs> okay, so we've added Tippy. Is it Sa uh, Samina? Samina? Is that how you say it? Ooh. Nana. Kelly Dawn, I don't think, I think that's it. Let's see if, make, let's make sure that it draws someone from those because last time it drew someone who, who hadn't done it. So. <laughs> oh dear. <coughs> Sam. Oh, that's cool. Welcome, Sam. Okay, anyone else? Anyone else? Melanie, did you want to join in? Uh, you do need, it is a digital copy of the image, so you do need to be able to print it, of course, but, oh, look at that, she's looking awesome. <laughs> Alright, that's it, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, here we go. I know I'm like 10 seconds behind everyone, and uh, I kind of feel like, uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm lost up here ahead of you. <laughs> Lost without you. All right, here we go. Here we go. Patty! Yay! <laughs> All right, for everyone else, please come back next week because we're doing a massive party next week. Everybody should hopefully, uh, who has been watching, should hopefully win a prize by the end of next week's live. So make sure you do come along and check that out. Um, because it will be awesome. <laughs> uh, so, Patty, email me and... Um... <laughs> what stream? Who's driving what? I'm not driving anywhere. What are you talking about? <laughs> no worries, darling. So we had uh, D, Robin and... <laughs> Patty that won this week but those that didn't still haven't please do pop back next week because you will get a chance again i would like everybody watching to win something so you know what's going to happen right <laughs> you know what's going to happen um so make sure you come back next week and uh, I'm just uh, writing some names down now just to make sure that you have a higher chance of actually getting something next week. Some people are going to get two. 
Some people are going to get something else, but that's okay. It's exciting. Very exciting. <laughs> okay, cool. I think I've got everyone. problems guys uh so yeah we, we did finish the hair we didn't start anything else but it's probably good i think i'd prefer to start the roses uh next week they won't take very much um and yeah i, I don't know what i'm going to do with the background yet but i have to decide on what we're doing so i can finish the image don't i <laughs> it will happen sure of it i think we might go a bit of a bit of gold and a bit of green and keep that white and uh do maybe pale blue these are going to be red right bright 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 red <laughs> yay make sure you email me your choice for those winners. Also, big thank you to uh, Trish and Kat for Super Chat today. Amazing, um, beautiful and wonderful support there. And also to all my wonderful patrons, thank you so much. And uh, if you need anything, everything's in the description down there. Down there. Down there. Thanks, Nana. <laughs> I'm going to be doing red roses. Painting the roses red. Just painting the roses red. Bright red. Like bright red roses. Bright red or dark red? Bright red. One of them. They're red. <laughs> They're red. I'll see you guys on Monday for something. And then I'll see you again next week. Alright? Alright. Thanks guys. Have a great day, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. See you next time.